Time now, 712. Very happy to have Nettie Reeves back in studio. We're talking girl power we this morning. We are talking yes. girl power. Yes, indeed. Yes. So, uh, why, first of all, why is it important for this particular? Why did you pick girl power for this morning? Stuff? Well, you know, all everywhere you look, girls are doing it, yeah. right? They're doing their own thing. Yeah. And no matter what we're doing, we are bringing home the bacon, frying it up <laughs> yes, in the pan, and still getting in 10 push ups. That's right. That's, that's right. right. That means we, that's because we have the power. Yes, indeed. Uh, and so this workout is is going to get us fit and toned in six minutes I love flat. It. Yeah, Dougie I love Fresh, it. Yeah, you heard indeed. of that? Right? Oh, I've heard of Dougie uh, Fresh. <laughs> I, I know this is Dougie Fresh. Uh, so a six minute workout meaning, guess what? No excuses. You can fit this in your day. You can fit this yeah. in no matter how busy you are, yeah. and it's going to have women feeling fit toned, but more importantly, feeling healthy and happy cool. and empowered. Awesome. All right. So I know your girls are standing by. They're ready. We're work. ready. Yeah, we are ready. Okay. So we're going to start out with some striking skaters. Jennifer's going to start us out right here. And the reason why we start with these is because it's not only cardio, but it really tones the buttock, the hips, All right. and the thighs. All right. Yeah. All right. And then if you want more, you can always add weights like Teresa is doing right here. Okay. Yep. yep, perfect. Yep, yep, and, yep. And yep. this is, you know, with your workouts, I love because you can oftentimes almost always do them in your living room. You in your living room. And I hope room. that everyone is doing them with us right yes, now. Indeed. Let's yes, go, indeed. let's go, let's go. All right. Secondly, we're going into Baby Got Back. Yes. Rose. Rose. Baby Got Back Rose. Um, All right. So we can do one at a time. With this one, yeah. With Jennifer, right there. So she's getting into a, a, a leaned over lunge position, working one at a time. Just roll back. If you want more, you can do two at a time. All right. Just like Teresa's doing the important thing here is to keep that back nice and straight. Yeah, and, and if you don't, you could kind of, you, you don't want to injure yourself. That's really. exactly yeah. right. I mean, safety is the number one thing in fitness, yes. all right? Because once you go down, you're down. That's right. Okay. So maybe got back, and then what do we do? Supreme obliques. All right. So these are standing obliques. So the obliques, of course, are the sides of the abdominals. Teresa's going to start us out. It's a squatted position. Keep that back again nice and straight. Keep the chin lifted. And she's going from side to side. If you want more, you go down to the floor with Jennifer. Yes, now, not only is this working obliques, what else is it working? Uh, let's see here. Well... What are we working out here? Maybe thighs? What's, what's thighs? stabilizing yeah, them? Yeah, there thighs, you go. Yeah. It's the thighs. thighs All right. Go ahead, girls. Right. Rock on. <laughs> uh, and speaking of rocking, we're going into some rocking abdominals. All right. Now, we just worked the sides. Now, we're about to work the front of the abdominals, the rectus abs. So, uh, Jennifer is starting us out here. And all she's doing is rocking those knees back and forth without having those feet touch the floor. Nice. You see that? And uh, this really targets the lower abdominals. Yeah. I was just saying, doing the work. Workouts, you recommend them in this order? In this order, yeah. yes, I do. And then Teresa is now, if you, you want more, yep. put her hands behind her back and she's added a crunch okay. to it. So now we're targeting the upper and lower abs. All right. Make sense? Yep, different All degrees right. difficulty there. Yes, yes, definitely. And now we're going into some persuasive push-ups, and I call them persuasive push-ups because right. once you start doing these and you see those guns, yeah. you're able to persuade anybody to do anything. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Teresa's starting us out here, and we are girls, so we, it's okay for us to be on our knees. Start modified. But That's not right. that we can't do them That's on right. our toes. It's okay to start that modified. That is That's exactly right. right. Keeping that back straight. That's the thing about a push-up is you have to keep the body nice and aligned. Yeah. You see her yep. back and all and buttock all the way from the buttock to the head is aligned straight. So then if you want more, we've added a down dog to it. As you can see, Jennifer is doing so she's going to come back down to her knees and then go into the push up wow. and a down dog. It's like hey, a little yoga, a little workout. Yeah, nice, nice. yeah. And then speaking of yoga, now we're going to cool it all down and stretch it out. And we're going into something that we all love girls. That is diamonds. Yes. The long diamond stretch. Stretch, all right. Yeah. The soles of the feet together. Bring the feet away from the body. Grab those feet and pull your body forward and down, keeping, again, the back nice and straight and the chin lifted. You know, do you find that people underestimate the importance of stretching before and after workouts? Most definitely, yeah. yeah. But if you don't stretch, it does increase your chance of injury. Yeah. So you always want to stretch out the body after awesome. the workout. So it's a six-minute workout. We, and we kind of plowed through it there quickly, but uh, no excuses. Get out no there. Excuse. Girl power. Girl power. Always great to Thank see you. Thank you, Brody. Yeah, always great to Take see you. Take care. Lindsay DePassis, girl power of her own in the Weather Center. Lindsay, what do you got for us?